So, Hal, I'm not sure how familiar you are with XXX Tentacion, but we've spoken about his music a lot on the show and also about some of the charges he's facing. Um, so he has, one, he released a video for Look At Me last night and then a video responding to some of the allegations. Let's start with the music video. Let's take a look. Can't keep my dick in my pants, ay. My bitch don't love me no more, ay. She kick me out on life, bro, ay. That bitch don't wanna be friends, ay. I give her dick, she I'm mad, ay. She put her ten on my dick, ay. Look at my wrist about ten, ay. Just got the point of the booth, ay. But that shit straight to the booth, ay. Tell me my health is a fool, ay. She said one for all right, so we showed this scene, but there's a lot to unpack in the video. Uh, he goes through a history of like black men like Rodney King, Emmett Till, horrible things that have happened to them, and then even like speaks for a bit at the end of the video. Act, maybe you can give us a little bit of a breakdown. Yeah, I, there's some strong imagery in the video. Mm -hmm. A lot of people would, would more remember the scene where he hangs a white child. Um, also, there's another scene where there's three black men hanging on a tree. Mm -hmm. And for him, it was symbolism. Um, it, it, it's a mix of that song because if you listen to that song, the Look At Me song, I mean, a song saying can't keep my dick in my pants is not socially conscious at all, but right. there's another song called Right that's mixed in it where he's more socially conscious and addressing social issues. It's strong imagery. Um, I think he's probably trying to take a page out of uh, um, Kendrick Lamar's book, even though I think he, of course, he's going all the way there Much different to approach. actually show someone be <laughs> hung. Yeah, yeah. The desk is great. What she said. Different approach. Okay. Yeah, to actually show someone being hung. But of course, he had an overall message. He explained that at the end. Mm -hmm. um, he was talking about the injustices that has happened to African Americans and also saying that, listen, as, as kids, like, no one really is born with racism. So, I mean, he, he showed it in the video. I thought it was definitely thought provoking. Um, is that why you got this hoodie on? Yeah, I'm woke today. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm woke today. I, honestly, tell, him, tell me about this fucking act of woke shit you on. <laughs> Man, I can't rock a hoodie, though. But tell him what, Larry? Let's spread it out. Yeah, oh, let's, yeah. Let's the camera see can't we, see we, it. The camera can't Black see it. male, dead or in jail by 21. The darker the skin, the less attractive. Trump is my president of society. Who made this for you? Um, I don't even know. It's a great company called F Society. Okay. They did it. Okay. One but, yeah, but but it's a pretty woke video. Um, something we wouldn't woke. no something we wouldn't expect from him, mm -hmm. given his behavior on social media and how he reacts. To Even shit. from the start of the video to the end, I didn't expect what was coming. It's like based on the scene with the teacher. That's why he's like multi layered. Like mm -hmm. he's very immature sometimes, and sometimes he's he seemingly has a very deep message he wants to convey. Just depends on what you pay attention to. Okay. What do you think about this? I didn't see it. <laughs> what? Come on. I didn't see the video. Did we not just play it? I thought just we were talking about playing it. Play. I know in, my, in my office just now, I thought we were playing it on the laptop. No, we were playing the other stuff about the kid. Okay. Well, I didn't see his music video. All right. I saw the other videos. So. We've talked about the allegations that he's facing, right? We uh, read testimony from uh, the alleged victim. Um, we don't know the verdict, of course, but we did talk about um, the way he acts surrounding this, right? His image in general and how that could hurt or help him in court. You did say all of this stuff is admissible, so let's take a look at what he posted last night. Y'all niggas mad? Y'all niggas mad I'm successful? Suck my dick! Is this making you mad yet? If you hate me, how are you mad yet? <laughs> Are you going to go on Reddit and post really bad things about me? Are you going to make my dick even harder than it is now? <laughs> I'm going to fuck y'all little sisters in their throats. I swear to God. I swear to God. Everybody that called me a domestic uh, a abuser, I'm going to domestically abuse y'all little sister pussy from the back. Fuck, aren't you? No, but on some real shit, if you don't like me, Refer me to your auntie so I can put my dick in her throat. Because if y'all really think I ever gave a fuck about anything y'all be saying, or y'all gonna make me miserable. So, Halo, I'll let you I'm so glad take this first. So, he has an album out that's doing really well, but he is facing all these charges. And in addition to dropping a great video, he released this. I don't know what's wrong with that dude. Like, honestly. I really like that song a lot, but I think, I don't know if you said it, but wrong song to try to do something conscious to. It doesn't match up to the song. I feel like it should have been that song you was talking about if he wanted to do something yeah. conscious so it could correlate so people are, you know, it has like the soundtrack to it, but 
He's just immature, it seems like. He needs a, a father, an OG, somebody to help him out and guide him in life because he just seems, if this is the case he's going through, this is serious. Yeah. It's nothing to joke about on Instagram and sit there and laugh about because this is serious. He ain't going to be laughing if they give him 15 years. Right. So, I don't know. He's just immature. Come on, nigga. This nope. your boy. Yeah, nigga, yeah, nigga, I, I hate boy. when this nigga get all extra quiet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, y'all gotta stop looking towards me to to defend all these young rappers. <laughs> number one, number one. Right now, he's <laughs> mad at me because he felt I didn't hold him down enough. He rocking. You two. didn't hold him down. That's your friend. I Let's really get into it. Hold on, look. that's your man. If your man is accused with all type of wild shit, do you hold him down regardless of what? What is said or what's accused? I have zero problem answering any of your questions after you answer mine. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with okay, okay. the, the way he's acting is definitely immature. But from his perspective, he's looking at it like, yo, y'all are blaming me for something I definitely ain't do. He thinks he's completely innocent. Now, the problem I think he's having is that he's always, by the way, he's, this is not new behavior. He's always acted like this, but his. It's new for us. His come up has always been appealing to like a niche following, like a subculture of hip hop. Now, when you sell 87,000 records, mainstream is looking at you. So mainstream eyes are looking at him while he's acting like this. I don't think he cares to change his behavior. Also, in light of his charge, I don't think he cares about the perception of other people who are looking at him. Triple X. So, you don't where, care when where, you go to prison. Where am I here? Red light. Triple X. Whether you did this or did not do this, it, that's not up to you anymore. <laughs> this is going to come down to a jury of your peers, and it's Florida, so they won't be your peers. Now, I thought I gave you some pretty good advice yesterday when I said, shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. You have the simplest job in the world. Shut the fuck up. Put the phone down, idiot. The fucking judge is probably watching you. What do the kids not understand about the prosecutors, all of them, they're watching. It's not about whether you did it. It's about getting people to believe what you are saying. This behavior is not going to do it. I do not understand the kids. And you're right. I was speaking to someone at another big media company and they were like, they haven't covered this side of him. So they haven't covered the domestic violence charges. <clears throat> but they played th this video like in their office and they said all the women w were, were like, whoa, if he ain't do it, he looks like someone, at least he comes across like Nigga. someone capable of Let me doing tell you something. Which is, which you to get in court is bad. Let me tell you something. You saying that all the women said something. Nigga, when I played, when we just played it before here, I was like, whoa, the language, the vote, and, and we niggas. Yeah. But we my got dick, daughters. Yeah, come on, come on, come yeah. on, come on, come on. Really? Really? No, no, no. Uh, uh, and again, I'm praying for the kid. Uh, again, I was. I'm, I'm praying for the victim. I'm praying for all of them. But you asking for it. It, it, it. That's what I need the rappers to know. But to play devil's advocate, it might not be no victim. He might really be innocent. She made up a lie. And that's he his could side. be in his bag that's like, F y'all, nope. F everybody. And, and, and he did say later that, listen, when, when it's all said and done, it'll be proven that he's innocent. But I think this behavior, I mean, again, it's gonna it's, be up to a jury. It's, it's gonna be up to a jury, it's so. Bigger than, it's bigger than you. It's bigger than, let me tell you something, when rappers get in that court system, it's bigger than you. It ain't just, oh, let me get to that, I didn't do it, mm -hmm. and I'm innocent. No, no, he looks guilty. I think you have Let's to Let's call a spade a spade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't he don't look guilty? Okay. And again, I don't understand why he would take this approach, even if you, you do believe you're innocent, right? Mm -hmm. I remember speaking to him when he was in jail the first time, before he came out, before he had all the success, before he even knew he had this much fans. And what was very clear to me is, is that he would do anything not to be in jail. He said that to me. That's, that was one of his big gripes with Drake. He wanted Drake to show any kind of support because mm -hmm. he did not want to be in jail anymore. He also, now that he's out, I would think that the last place he would ever want to go back is jail, which means you gotta you gotta be careful in your actions. Even and again, some of this behavior, as I said, like if you go way back two years ago, three years ago, and it's come up, this is his behavior. Like I mean, his fans and the the subculture or niche following that he has kind of expects this behavior from him. But with more eyes and and now the stakes are higher, 
you might have to adjust a little bit because um, adjust a lot of it. Yeah. So look, uh, not a little bit. Like you said, if this is part of his thing, him lashing out and saying, I didn't do this, leave me alone, fine. But threatening abuse in the video, a jury watching that, it's crazy. So people did go back and dig up some of his old t tweets from 2014. I don't know if you could read this up there. Um, it says, if a girl lies to me about being a virgin, I'll punch her in her shit. That's tweet number one. Tweet number two says, I'm going to beat her with a hanger. Hey. <laughs> Tweet number three says, Guilty. if you're my girl, we not married, and you try to fart around me, I'm going to punch you dead in your shit. Oh, this dude's a nerd. Uh, hey, I mean, these tweets are indefensible. He was 16 at the time, though. Um, I, I think we would have to really go and talk to him, him be 19, to see if he still sticks by, or that's how he thinks. I mean... He just put a video out last night. Why do we need to talk to him today to see how he feels? Don't the video tell us how he feels from last night? Hey, all I'm saying is that he said these things when he was 16. Oh, no. He's but 16. No and the charges are today, though. You're right. You're right. And the charges correlate to that. You're right. I feel like character is character. It don't matter. Yeah. Like, you could be 17. It don't matter. Like, your character. I'm not going to steal from an old lady just because I was 17. It's like, oh, he was 17. If you ain't got no character, that's that's your whole life. That's how you're gonna be. You know what's and also for someone who seems to pride himself on having character, that's why this is a little. You know, you want to make sure your words and your actions match at all time. You can't be woke one second and then tell your aunt that I'm gonna fuck her in her ass and all of this other wild shit. Like, pick a side of the fence. And uh, again, I'm not even sure if he's since. You ain't never sure no, who's no. your friends, nigga. No, what I'm saying, no, what I'm he saying might is not like, be his friend. No, he might not be your friend. No, you gotta have an understanding of like him and like his fans. They say a lot of no, shit. You no, you do not. Even the song that we all like. I don't care about, about no song. Though. I'm talking about life. You know, I don't care about no, I'm not no talking song. about the charges. I ain't talking about the charges. I'm just talking about how he speaks because he puts those things in the raps. He puts those things on social media. Hey, if you're now, not going to tell actions. me something that his lawyer can tell a jury, then I don't care. <laughs> you're talking to me. I agree with what you're saying. <laughs> what are you talking to me? You're right. Okay. In a courtroom. What are you, we ain't talking about no music. <laughs> All right. And then even in the courtroom, and this is why it gets so tricky. Because the case, there's a lot of floating pieces on social media about the case. That's why I believe he feels so It don't get tricky. It. I, it don't get tricky. Your Honor... My, my, my client is innocent, his rap sheet is clean, he provides for the community, he has a family, he has no reason to flee. Uh, great, uh, no bail, R, R, R. Let him out, R, R, R. Prosecutor, no, these are videos. This is his Instagram. This is, these are his tweets. This is the victim. These are the pictures. What, what, you, what are you saying okay. to me? And in his, on his side, they're saying they have the full story of what happened to her. There's video, there's video of this chick admitting that she she did certain things or that he didn't do certain things to her. All right. So so again, that's why it gets complicated hey, with that. Stop talking for two seconds and listen to me. And this is what I'm saying. This I'm you asked me for you asked I'm, me for a court what they were saying court. I know. I told you. Just give let me give you some information. When the girl said that I did all of these horrible things to her, I went to the court with a video of me dropping her off of her willingly getting in, everything was wonderful. I went to the court with that video. Guess what? It doesn't matter. It does not matter is what I'm saying. When I say it's bigger than him, it's bigger than this. It's bigger than this. That don't matter. I don't care what he has. Oh, you're right. And that'll be proven in court. He clearly doesn't. You're in he, Florida, he doesn't get nigga. That. Now, I do want to ask, because y'all asked me the question before. Because he clearly also said on the video, um, he said if if whoever doesn't like or approve of my behavior or believe these things, don't talk about me, don't cover me. He's talking to me to Alice too. What's the question? What is Com the question? Complex covers them all the time. So do uh, y'all still the do y'all still, co they co do they still cover him uh, if these things are true? They co y cover. Hell Complex no. Complex has covered the legal issues. And Hell the legal issues. wait. All right, well, I'm a vendor. I don't work for Complex. So, I mean, wait, I, can't, wait, I can't say wait. what Complex would do. You think, so you say, if no, he is found guilty, who's covering him? I did, who's who gonna touch it? Every media site covers him right now. 
you not beyond beyond respond beyond to what I just said. Go ahead. If he is found guilty, guilty. Mm -hmm. it's over. Who is covering him? I would take a bet with you that all, all media sites would. They would you cover the story. Of course, no, no, no. the story. Oh, You're talking no. about continue they'll, cover they'll music. Cover music after why? Trust when me. he go, if he goes to prison, they would. Y'all have y'all yeah, covered him while that. he was in jail. Stop acting like this. Is like Damn. stop it. Don't no, no, let's no. not get into one of these. Like Complex big has covered it, artist. but they have covered all but the legal issues wait, in the music coverage. Everybody covered him when he was in jail and he was getting not, hot. He not, was getting hot. He's heated up this year. That was the one covered. No, no, no. What I'm saying is that because he asked me a question yesterday, and someone brought it up. Was like they like how I answered it. It was about would I still be friends with him if he's found guilty? But also. I mean, all these media outlets who cover him, if he's found guilty, they also cover Yo, him. Yo, hey, Ak, let me tell you something. Do you know what the word powerlessness means? Do you know that X does not control who covers him or who does not cover him? People, media outlets reserve the right. If they decide to cover him so, that's on them. That, what is this grand statement you're saying? Uh, if they cover him, then they cover him. No, no. All I'm <laughs> saying is that are the media outlets who cover him, who he doesn't care to cover him, if they if they I mean, find a problem they, with his behavior. The media ain't your friends. <laughs> so, Man, back to Pinky. So, so basically nobody has, so if he does these things, nobody cares. They covering him as long as it's gonna get clicks. Yeah. That's what, that, matters. That's what I wanted to hear. That's what I wanted to hear. And he's gonna get clicks for a while. So that's why he doesn't care. If he is found guilty, he's not getting clicks for a while. Yeah, I don't know why that's the I don't conversation. Know why I understand think that. I understand the point you're trying to make, but like I just hope he realizes he's fighting for his actual life right now. Yeah, it's beyond I don't the music. Care about that's what we're saying. Music. I, I care about that. his well being. I don't no studio in prison. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't Nothing matter. It's over then. Like you can't pull any Instagram stunts, but Anyway, we'll see what happens. So, fuck they talking about R. Kelly. Wait, R. Kelly is doing something again? <laughs> Hopefully something good, shit. Oh, man. What is he, so what is he promoting here on your music? R. Kelly. Okay. So, we know he has uh, the alleged sex cult. 20 years of all of this. You're, you guys already know it. So, he tweets this. All it takes is one yes to change your life. So, let's just take a look at the image here with the no's and the yeses. Like, for someone <laughs> dealing with all the scrutiny he is, about these cases, this seems a little bit loose. Do y'all know that this world is going to shit right before our very eyes? It's a fact. <laughs> what the fuck is our, but what's it? Wait on it. No, I ain't waiting on it. Did he do this himself? How did this get past the PR team? Morning with Kelly. R. Kelly not Is this a song? What is he promoting? New music, so yeah, I guess it's a song. R. Kelly, oh man, Kels. R. Kelly, you can't say things like all it takes is one yes to change your life anymore. <laughs> you can, I mean, not at this point. <laughs> not, yeah. at, not at no point. Shit, these allegations have been 25 years. Ever since Aaliyah. Yeah, yeah. Well, come on, R. Kells. Yeah, nice. it's one of those, like, just like if you've been, like, convicted of or accused of beating women, you can't, you can't make certain jokes. I think because, nobody cares. Is that what's happening? No one cares. What do you mean no one cares? R. Kelly doesn't care. X doesn't care. Nobody <laughs> cares. Nobody That's cares. right. Is no one cares? No one R. Kelly cares. is kidnapping women on, in multiple states. R. Kelly is sexually abusing underage girls. You can't do And he comes out with this. Niggas ain't even trying to defend them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. They might go plead guilty. Maybe trolling. We're, we're past I'm trolling sick. at I'm this so point. I'm so sick of academics. 